Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to continue our exploration of drawing vehicles in perspective using uh, boxes in space. And uh, we started with some very simple shapes like SUVs and pickup trucks because they tend to be very boxy vehicles. We're going to start to draw something a bit more sculptural, a bit more fluid, which is going to be a luxury sedan. So we're going to start with our horizon line. Once again, we're going to start with a a box to represent the main body. And we're going to have to pay a lot of attention to length and width versus height. So getting that getting that ratio correct takes a bit of practice, takes a bit of work. We're going to continue working with the vanishing points off the page because we want to start to bring the vehicle uh, bigger on the page. And so we need to keep keep an awareness of the vanishing points but not to not to the point where we're constraining the size of the vehicle on the page. So you can see I'm drawing a, a rectangle. I'm drawing very lightly. I'm drawing a rectangular cube or a rectangular box that is clearly longer than it is wide. And then I'm going to add another box on top. And this time I'm going to angle this box. I'm going to angle the, the front and rear of that box because that's going to be our passenger cabin. And because this vehicle is going to be so sleek, I'm not going to even bother drawing it as a box. We're just, just sneaking up on getting the right ratios, per perspective, proportions. Now the wheels and tires on a sedan are, um, the, you know, the sedan sits much lower to the ground. So the wheels and tires are not going to be in this sort of off-road stance like, like we've been sketching before. So, so the tires are going to be existing, you know, just mostly inside the body, just below the body. So I'm going to draw the wheel planes just, you know, well within the body and just the very bottom edge of it uh, protruding from the, from the main body. We're going to have our five wheel diameters. And so we need to make sure that we have these spaced fairly, fairly evenly. We want these squares to look like squares, but as they, as they, progress further into the, the distance, they're going to get more and more foreshortened. Getting that right, uh, it takes a bit of practice. You just have to get a feel for it. And then I'm going to draw my uh, wheel centers. So that's going to be the, the, um, the lines, the X that connects the corners of the wheels. And I'm going to do a couple other things. One is the, the belt line or the, the top of the, the main body is going to angle just up a little bit. So I'm actually going to draw another line which takes the top of that, of that cube and just angles it up just a little bit. We're going to keep, we're going to keep our, um, keep all of our lines very light until we have everything exactly how we want it. And because we're going to be making some adjustments along the way. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a chamfered, um, secondary chamfered shape on the front end. So this will be like a, like a trapezoidal shape on the front, like a secondary box shape. That's going to be um, the plan shape of the front end. So it's not going to be a very boxy front. It's going to be a much more angled or even curved front end. Sedans are, are, are much more nuanced and complex than than uh, trucks and SUVs. So you can see I'm aligning that, that secondary box more or less with the top of the, where the front wheel is going to be. And the front wheel is, is positioned just outside of the, the plane of the main body. So as I said before, as we get into more sculptural vehicles, we're still using the same box in space to define the perspective, define the, the, the orientation and position in space, but now we're going to start to round off some of the line. We're going to add curvature. We're going to add round off some edges. And so starting with the greenhouse, I'm going to, I'm going to take the, the top of the greenhouse and start to round that off. Add this nice fluid line. And 
And we're going to do the same on the, on the far side of the windscreen. You'll also see that the, the A-pillars are starting to converge towards each other, and that's, that's because of tumble home. That's because the side glass is angling in a bit. Um, on SUVs and trucks, the, the, the side glass tends to be much more vertical, although not completely vertical. And on sports cars, the glass is extremely angled in. The tumble home can be quite extreme. So now I'm drawing a center line. And I'm just starting to, again, adding some curvature and some finesse to some of these, some of these lines. So now that I have the basic, the basic proportional makeup of these, these boxes, and I've started to round them off, I'm definitely starting to get a feel for the, the shape of this, this sedan. And also, since I now have the correct height, width, and orientation for the ellipses, I'm going to go ahead and draw the ellipses. And I'm going to draw some, some spokes just to give it some athleticism. This would be like a large luxury sedan. You see, as I, as I start to add more curvature and, and transition between, between the lines, it, it really starts to take on a much more sculpted feel. And some, some, nice, some nice elegant curves, some, some nice elegant lines on the body side to break up some of the mass. I might also start to introduce the shape of the of the uh, side window. Put a little bit of a little bit of visual interest on the on the belt line. We can also use the the doors to define the, the, the shape of the body side. So this body side might have a little bit of a secondary uh, detail to, to catch light and to bring, to bring the visual mass of the body side down. And then uh, we'll, we're gonna use the center line to help define the graphics of the front end. And I'm gonna add a bit of shape to the front end so it's not quite so, so vertical and square. So maybe give it a little bit of a, a shark nose quality. Some corner elements help define the corners. By starting to add a bit more curvature, a bit more sculpture to the lines, you can really start to get a feeling of, of this vehicle being, being voluptuous, being sculptural, athletic. And so it just takes a ton of practice especially with sedans sedans have a, there's a lot of there's a lot of subtlety to sedans there's a lot of nuance of finesse and there's a lot of subtle differences between like large sedans and small sedans we're going to get more into that later but it just takes a lot of practice to get those those shapes and forms looking looking dialed in so just keep practicing and and then start to sketch some rear views as well So you can see how building these boxes on top of each other and then rounding off the, the, the edges, rounding off the lines, adding some, some, some subtle curves, and it just gives the car a much more sense of fluidity, of grace, of athleticism, 
Uh, and as we proceed into more, more and more sculptural vehicles like sports cars, um, we're just we're still using those same boxes in space, but we're just rounding off those those edges even more, and we're combining more and more elements, more and more sub sub shapes into the form. And so, just keep practicing. Practice makes perfect, and um, I will look forward to seeing you next time. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.